everyone, everywhere. It's your girl Morg stopping you dead in your tracks. I'm your host Morgan Martin and this is the Morgan Martin Show. As you know, March celebrates some phenomenal women as it celebrates Women History Month, or as I like to say, Women Her Story Month. That's right, this month we have been highlighting some phenomenal women and it continues tonight. We are speaking with Miss Michelle Held and Miss Renault Sander who both participated in the 17th annual Forgotten Coast in Plein Air. That's right, Michelle Held is from Sarasota, Florida, who brings her splash of vibrancy, a unique perspective, and the song of nature in its truest form. We also will chat with Renaud Sander, who is all the way from Germany. That's right, an award-winning impressionist who now resides in Southern Florida. Please welcome Michelle and Renaud Sander. I'm so excited and honored to have you on the show. Thank you for accepting the invitation. Tell us a little bit more about who you are and how did your love for art grow? My name is Michelle Held. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. I've been a uh, historical restoration specialist and faux finisher for 26 years. And uh, it wasn't until about six years ago I started my plein air career and uh, you know, with plein air, it really grew my circle of friends. And I think that's what I take away from all these events is the people I meet, the gorgeous landscapes we get to paint, and all the experiences that have a lot to do more, more than just the paintings. Yeah, the friendships. My name is Manol Sander. Uh, I'm a professional oil painter. Um, I do a lot of plein air festivals, teach workshops and retreats nationally and internationally. And the love for art has always been there. I truly believe that you're either born with that creative urge or not. And my students always prove that too, because a lot of them are in their golden years and they stop their um, artistic career because of other careers or maybe they raised families but then when they're done with that they still have that urge and they can come back to the arts so I definitely had the bug from a very early age on um, I've taken a different career first I used to be a banker but like I said the urge was there and when I moved from Germany to the United States I decided that that natural break that was in my career would also be a good lead in into pursuing the arts instead and I don't regret it at all. Now it wouldn't be a trip to Apalachicola, the oyster capital of the world, or the Forgotten Coast without getting some oysters. That's right, as you can see the two artists have the oysters displayed as their subject and they're bringing it to life with such vibrant colors on the canvases. Michelle, tell us, do you enjoy eating oysters just as much as you enjoy painting them? Uh, my friend Manoa and I come here a lot and uh, that's the first thing we do when we hit town and then we photograph every plate of oysters that we share while we're here. So yes, we love them and we don't find ourselves eating them anywhere else except for here. <laughs> Also to note, Michelle and Manon both participated in the diversity in the modern plein air movement, which is super cool. Um, they work with Florida A&M University Department of Visual Arts. Now you guys know I'm a proud graduate of the Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University, so I had to know how their residency was. Let's take a look. Uh, my friend Michelle and I, we had a residency with the topic diversity in the modern plein air movement and we were joined by two lovely young artists from uh, FAMU. Yes, with those rattlers. <laughs> yes, uh, we had an amazing time. Haley and Jude uh, didn't know what to expect and we didn't know what to expect, but we had uh, an amazing three days of painting with them and spent the whole weekend painting and discussing certain topics with them. Uh, it was such a good experience to exchange thoughts with them, to mentor them a little bit, um, to listen to things they're affected by that we might not have thought of. So there was a lot of exchange, but we also aimed to inspire them to 
uh, not be afraid to pursue a career in the arts, whatever the outlet will be or whichever avenue they will take. And I think that we succeeded in also uh, making them understand that in the art world, world there is a lot of rejection involved and you just have to be strong and have it slide off your shoulders and try again. So I think it was a really good experience for all of us. There was a lot of give and take from all of us and I loved every right. moment with them. But I think my favorite part of that were the intimate moments in the evenings and in the mornings where we talked about the inspiration and their goals and dreams. And uh, I really think that uh, what Forgotten Coast did for those girls should have a really important role in their success in the future. And you talked about inspiration. Talk about where your inspiration comes from. Uh, okay. Well, my inspiration comes with, from nature and um, I actually uh, am sought after for the wildlife paintings that I do. Uh, being one with nature is pretty much my inspiration on a daily uh, basis and uh, just the joy that life has to offer. As stated before, Women's History Month is celebrated in the month of March. Let's take a look and see how Michelle and Manon encourages other women in the art profession. Just like with many other professions, uh, women sort of slid into this uh, not too long ago. Historically, uh, women ha did not have a strong presence uh, in the arts and when you look back a hundred years ago, you could probably count the famous women artists on one hand, like Marie Cassatt. Uh, a lot of the women artists were standing in the shadows of men. And I'm really glad that we're finally coming to a point where women can pursue whatever career they would like to pursue. But I also feel that we still have to work just a tiny little bit harder than our male counterparts. But I think if we just get the word out, especially to young people, that they can do this if they have the passion for it and have the joy in the arts and really want that, that we're going to get there eventually. Yes. So I'd say passion is 100%. Uh, talent is uh, about 5%. And then that doesn't add up, does it? But drive is number one with about 200% of drive and hard work. You can't do it if you're not willing to work hard. Yeah, so I, I encourage you to just start working hard, making connections and being yourself because being yourself, put that on the canvas, everyone's gonna love it. Well, most everyone. <laughs> These two artists' artwork have been recognized and seen all over the world. And that's what it's about. Not only does women history reside in our community, but it's worldwide. Let's see how we can continue to support their artwork and their amazing talents. You can always support me by looking at my artwork uh, on my website, which is www.manonsander.com. That's M-A-N-O-N-S-A-N-D-E-R. Um, feel free to sign up for my newsletter and respond to my newsletter and let me know your thoughts. And you can also find me under the same name on Facebook and Instagram. I would love it if we connected on those outlets. My website is www.artbymichellehild.com and uh, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook if you like. Uh, Instagram has uh, more pertaining to my art career and the journey, the daily journey of this career. That's going to do it for tonight's show. I hope you guys enjoyed the takeaways from both Michelle and Man and Both. Please visit their websites, check out more of their work, and be supportive. If you're a woman out there and you are struggling, please, if nothing else, this is one of my favorite quotes. Aspire to inspire before you expire. Don't give up on your dreams. Plan and execute because a dream without a plan 
It's just a dream. But the dream with a plan is a goal you can achieve. As always, it's been great chatting with you guys. That's going to do it for the Morgan Martin Show. Real talk, real time with real people. Catch the Morgan Martin Show Mondays at 8 Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Morgan Martin Media LLC. Follow me on Instagram at morgan.martin.media. And don't forget, I just launched a new YouTube channel, Morgan Martin Media LLC. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next week.